Hello everybody, this is a Lighthouse Hall of Fame film from the North American server. It is Dark Ninja and his Amex ELC bits. We're here in Serene Coast. There's one artillery on each team and three scouts on each team. The enemy team has five heavies, two mediums, four TDs. His team, six heavies, one medium, four TDs. Fairly equal strength. Hard to say how this one will turn out. There's enough tanks of every type to you can't overplay any particular area because every team's pretty well balanced. A little bit heavy on TDs, but it's the same on both teams. He's going to pull up to try to spot people coming across the bridge area. A little tank like an ELC can hide here where some of the bigger scouts can't. Gets to smack the T-71 right away. And he'll just pull back a little bit, use the terrain to provide cover until he gets concealment back. Pull back up, do it again. Both teams look like they deployed in a fairly spread out manner. His team's a little bit weak to the east. And it looks like they have a T-43 that's AFK as well. That could be a problem. Been waiting on that Cromwell B to pull out and he finally does, but he misses the shot. Doesn't get spotted, so he'll just stay here and try again. It's a kill shot if he hits. Come out behind that rock guy. Oops, somebody else got him. So we'll kill the E25 instead. Some more sniping opportunity here on the Chaffee. Gets to pick his target. Bam! Another kill. Next up, T28 HTC. Now the T-43 that looked to have been AFK came back to life and he circled around and went over the bridge. He got in behind. He got in behind the people over there to the east, so. <laughs> they have a T-20 out there in that little, what used to be an island long ago. He's probably not doing a whole lot for his team right now. They might be cursing him. So as the enemy team is pushing on the east, his team is slowly taken over to the west. It could end up being a cap race. They still have a he still has a couple big tanks back there to defend with the T28 close by and the Churchill dropping back. So it looks like their base is adequately protected right now. It's just a matter of whether the scouts, which is all that's left on the attack here for his team, can can push their attack and Cause the enemy to react to him. 
They'll have to after he kills this TD. I don't think that TD is going to be able to get around on it. Oh, and the RD takes him out. And now he's going to drop back as well. Or he may turn around and try to pick off this T-25. If the T-62 Type 62 will light him up again, he should be able to pop him. Got him, and here comes the IS. Ooh. If the IS knew where the shots were coming from, I don't think he'd be backing up like that. He should pull forward. But I think he wants to try to kill the Type 62. He's going to try to back up and get a shot on him. There it is. Their T-20 is rushing back to help out. Hopefully the T-28 prototype gets in the game a little more and just doesn't keep sitting there. And down to just the KV-5 and the SU-8, so he'll probably go take out the artillery. If he goes after the artillery and the T-28 prototype drops back to fight the KV-5, game will be over pretty fast. One shot kill. Just the KV-5 left. And they're telling him to capture the flag, and he's like, why? Oops, KV-5's coming at him. Back up. That T-28, man. Guy needs to realize he has an engine and tracks. I don't think he's moved over half a kilometer the whole game. If he can run in close to him, it's over. Because he won't be able to bring his gun down to bear on top of the AMX. Just stay close while you reload, then get a little separation and fire. Get in close while you reload and repeat until he dies. Now I'll just spin around and get a shot. Get back in close. Oh, maybe five's trying to play smart and going back to the water is really a good idea because <laughs> the AMX is going to drown out there if he goes in too deep. 
He's trying to cut off the Amex's chance to play his games with him, but not working too far. He needs to back up a little more if he wants it to work. <laughs> There's a track. Ooh, you don't get rammed. There's the game. He's wrangled a, a lot of extra damage out of that. KV5 tried to play it smart by going into the water and trying to keep the AMX from running around him, but didn't quite do it quite right and it didn't work. <laughs> Overall, Dark Ninja ends up with 3,384 points of damage and 5 kills. 19 of 22 shooting, that's 86%. And he also got 673 assisted damage, 4 spots, lost 7,188 credits because he used premium ammo on a couple of those shots. He survived the fight and was awarded 2,000 834 XP. He also got an Orlix, a tank sniper, and high caliber medals along with bruiser, fighter, and fire for effect mini medals. And that gives him a battle score of 2,924. Fifth place on the AMX DLC best list. So originally he pulled up into here and was sniping some tanks moved over to the western half of the map after a while to try to help out over there. As he moved over, all the bigger tanks dropped back to play defense for the invasion coming from the island. And so the Type 62 and him managed to take out a couple more tanks. By that time, the defense had prevailed to the east. And he took out the artillery and then came back. They wanted him to cap. He's like, forget that. There's three of us, one KV-5. If I can get in close to him, I can do a lot of damage to him. And uh, he waited until the opportunity was right to zoom in, made it next to the KV-5, and then danced with him a bit. KV tried to, tried to counter by going into the water and keeping um, Dark Ninja from getting behind him. But he didn't stay or go deep into, enough into the water, and so his strategy, even though it was correct overall, didn't work because he didn't quite take it far enough. And uh, with the assistance of the other two tanks, they wore him down. He got a lot of extra XP out of going after the KV-5. And it worked out good for everybody. From Serene Coast, showing off his AMX ELC BIS. Dark Ninja, happy hunting.